So, do you think that the bad guys hack the exact same way with the exact same tools? No. Let's look at three recent high-profile cases. By the way, this excellent graphic is courtesy of Sophos, one of our primary security partners. And it's a useful graphic that shows three recent hacks that impacted a lot of companies. By the way, we're not including the Colonial Pipeline hack since that was really a single company. So we've got uh, SolarWinds that was in December of 20. We have the Microsoft Exchange vulnerability, which was in March of 21. And then we've got recently the Kaseya, July of 21. But let's look at the differences here. The time frames themselves speak volumes. First of all, for the SolarWinds attack, the malicious code was inserted into the product, which was then installed unknowingly by victims by upgrading their products and then just lay dormant for a long period of time. And we're talking months or years. For the exchange attack, it was a vulnerability in the product exchange that was distributed on-premise exchange servers. The bad guys then attacked the product once the uh, vulnerability was discovered and understood. They attacked it directly over days and weeks with many sites being vulnerable long after Microsoft released a patch that would protect these servers. I mean, it's seriously, vaccinate, I, I mean, patch. All right, Kaseya, that was particularly nasty. A vulnerability was discovered in a product. Almost immediately, a sophisticated attack was launched against the servers running the product, which led to vulnerabilities in companies relying on those servers because the product was monitoring those companies' network resources. The type of attack was also different between these three. Uh, stealing, copying data from victims, laterally attacking other network assets, or encrypting data for ransomware. But one thing remains the same. The bad guys had a business plan to translate these attacks into monetary gains or stealing information that had similar value to them. Most importantly, each of these attacks required a different type of defensive strategy to protect against. And I'm simplifying here. But here's the thing. You can't just put an expensive lock in your front door if your garage door is wide open. Thanks again to Sophos for that great graphic and providing many of my socks, I might add. So how are you layering your security strategies? Comments below.